it can be abused. Now you've made yet another copyright related thing a federal felony. Donald Trump threatened to veto that monstrosity of an omnibus spending bill that contains some really stupid things like literal hundreds of millions of dollars to several foreign countries and a lot of stuff for gender programs in other countries, like Pakistani gender programs. I asked someone why the Smithsonian, which is closed, needs one billion dollars. That's billion with a B. And they said to me, oh, well, the Smithsonian is going to construct a women's museum. Why? Why is the Smithsonian spending that much money on constructing a women's museum when we are in the middle of a pandemic that the way things are being handled will never actually end? Why? I understand wanting to build museums, that's kind of the Smithsonian's thing, but one billion dollars, that is about three bucks per person in the entire country. Uh, you know, you divide that down, cut some demographics, get rid of all the kids and teens, uh, get rid of all the people that are retired. Um, you, you get the idea. You start cutting out demographics. That's a lot more dollars from the people who actually have to pay taxes. So basically, imagine that the big daddy government's taking 50 bucks out of your back pocket, tax-paying working citizen, that somehow still has a job right now, and is handing it to the Smithsonian to build a women's museum when they can't even open due to the extremely restrictive coronavirus lockdowns. It's stupid. It's all stupid. The amount of crap in that bill is astonishing, but here's the thing. I did a poor job of articulating what I wanted earlier, and I thought about it a little more, and what I want is actually two or three different things. I want a Read the Bills Act. Everyone has to be present during the reading and they have to listen to the reading for the entire duration or they cannot vote on it for every revision of a bill. That's the main thing I want, but that's not enough. I also want sunsets, 10 year mandatory sunset on all laws nationwide. After 10 years, if a law is not actively renewed and it still has to have the Read the Bills Act stuff done to it, still have to reread it, if it isn't renewed, the law goes away. It automatically vetoes itself. This way, old laws go away and are taken off the books automatically. And if they need to be kept around, you have to reread it and make sure it's still applicable in modern times. No earmarks. I want no earmarks. Now, it's a little more complicated than that, but here's the way you can implement it. Look at every bill that's ever been introduced. It has a purpose statement. This bill is being put in for blah, 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 dot, 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 and for other purposes. The phrase that they screw you with the phrase that enables unrelated earmarks in all bills is, and for other purposes, this bill is to provide relief for coronavirus impacts to the American population, dot, 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 and for other purposes. That allows blanket enablement of any earmark on any bill ever. Now here's the problem. This thing gets used as a political football. When they can put this in the bill, they can put any earmark they want in the bill. And then, if you vote against the bill, you vote against the earmark. If you vote against the earmark, it can be used against you in all future political contests. So you don't want to vote against the earmark. This is why the 5,500-page omnibus spending bill. This is why that page, that bill, saw everyone that was whining about it with the notable exception of a few people, Tulsi Gabbard, I like Tulsi Gabbard because of this, they complained, you even had Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez going, I can't read this bill, this is not okay, that I can't read this bill before I have to vote on it. She said yes, she said yes. 
That's why that happens, because guess what happens if you say no? You voted against coronavirus relief for all the American people. And then what's the other stuff that's earmarked in the bill? Oh, you voted against the military. You voted, name it. You name it. It's an omnibus spending bill. If you vote against it, you're voting against everything. There was a sneaky little thing added into this bill that makes it a federal felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison for each offense for, quote, unauthorized streaming of copyrighted materials. No doubt targeted at websites like Popcorn Time that let you stream copyrighted content instead of torrenting it or whatever. But the problem is it can be abused. Now you've made yet another copyright-related thing a federal felony. Why is a spending bill allowed to establish new federal felonies on technological activities that have nothing to do with spending? Kind of goes along with not allowing them to put in for other purposes. If you pass a spending bill, everything in it has to be directly related to setting the budget. So that kind of goes along with my third point. Three things, three things. We'll go with that. End result, three things. One thing, two thing, three thing. Read the Bills Act. You must read the bills. All the bills. Can't vote if you don't read the bills. Automatic sunset after 10 years. Laws expire. All laws expire. And the third and final one, the biggie, no earmarks. No and for other purposes in purpose statements. Purpose statements must be narrowly tailored and specific. Do that, and we might get our democracy, <coughs> representative republic, back. Thanks for listening. If this has helped you out, if you've thought about something new, if this, you know, if you just like this video, subscribe to my channel. Go to my subscribe store and give me dollars because commerce. <laughs> anyway, some food for thought. Have a wonderful evening.